everybody. In this video, we are going to meet the inventions. That changed the world but were made by mistakes. 1. The first practical implantable pacemaker. Wilson Great Batch. While working as an assistant professor in electrical engineering at the University of Buffalo, he reached into a box of parts for a resistor to complete the circuitry while building a heart rhythm recording device for the Chronic Disease Research Institute there. The one he pulled out was the wrong size. And when he installed it, the circuit it produced emitted intermittent electrical pulses. He associated the timing and rhythm of the pulses with human heartbeat. After which, he soon began experiments to shrink the equipment and shield it from body fluids. 2. Microwave oven. Percy Spencer was experimenting with a new vacuum tube called a magnetron. While doing research for the Raytheon Corporation in 1945, he tried another experiment with popcorn. When the candy bar in his pocket began to melt, when the popcorn began to pop, Spencer immediately saw the potential in this revolutionary process. In 1947, Raytheon built the Radar, the first microwave oven which weighed 750 pounds, was 51 halves feet tall, and cost about $5,000. When the radar first became available for home use in the early 1950s, its bulky size and expensive price tag made it unpopular with consumers. But in 1967, a much more popular 100 volt countertop version was introduced at a price of $495. 3. Penicillin. The traditional version of this story describes the discovery as a fortuitous accident. In his laboratory in the basement of St. Mary's Hospital in London, Alexander Fleming noticed a petri dish containing Staphylococcus that had been mistakenly left open, was contaminated by blue-green mold from an open window, which formed a visible growth. There was a halo of inhibited bacterial growth around the mold. Fleming concluded that the mold released a substance that repressed the growth and caused the lysing of the bacteria. 4. Inkjet Printer When the Canon engineer rested his hot iron on his pen by accident, the ink was ejected from the pen's point a few moments later. This principle led to the creation of the inkjet printer. If that happened with us, our parents would probably scold us. Well. 5. X-ray images. Wilhelm Röntgen was investigating cathode rays using a fluorescent screen painted with barium platinum cyanide in a Crookes tube, which he wrapped in black cardboard so the visible light from the tube would not interfere. He noticed a faint green glow from the screen. About one meter away, Röntgen realized some invisible rays coming from the tube were passing through the cardboard to make the screen glow. He found they could also pass through books and papers on his desk. Röntgen threw himself into investigating these unknown rays systematically. Two months after his initial discovery, he published his paper. Röntgen discovered its medical use. When he made a picture of his wife's hand on a photographic plate form due to x-rays, the photograph of his wife's hand was the first photograph of a human body part using x-rays. When she saw the picture, she said, I have seen my death. 6. Artificial Sweetener in 1879, after a long day of working with coal char, chemist Constantine Fowler came home to have dinner with his wife, without washing his hands first, while eating his meal. Falberg noticed that everything he put in his mouth had a sweet taste, and discovered that the saccharin on his hands was responsible. Who knew being dirty could pay off so well? 7. Post-it notes. In 1968, Scientist Spencer Silver at the 3M company created a very weak adhesive that would peel off when removed from any surface. The funny thing was that he was, in fact, trying to create a super strong adhesive. No one thought there was any use for such a product. Until another scientist, Art Fry, realized that the little pieces of paper made great bookmarks for his church songs without leaving residue on the page. 8. Potato Chips this must be the only example in the history of the world where each benefited the person involved. In 1853, in a New York restaurant, 
when a customer complained that the fried potatoes were too soggy and thick. I repeatedly sent them back to the waiter. The chef George Crumb got so fed up, that he took the request for a thinner potato quite literally he cut the potatoes into thin slices, fry them, and cover them in salt. And, voila! The most favorite snack in the world was born. So the next time you're angry you might possibly change the world. 9. Coca-Cola While serving as a lieutenant colonel, John Pemberton, who was a pharmacist, was wounded. He got addicted to the morphine used to ease the pain. He began experimenting with coca and coca wines for opium-free alternatives. Eventually creating his own version of Vin Mariani, containing cola nut and damiana, which he called Pemberton's French wine coca. Relying on Atlanta druggist Willis Venable to test and help him perfect the recipe for the beverage, which he formulated by trial and error. It eventually included blending the base syrup with carbonated water. By accident when trying to make another glass, Pemberton decided then to sell it as a fountain drink rather than a medicine. 10. Chocolate Chip Cookies While Ruth Wakefield stated that she deliberately invented the cookie, a different version of events says that Wakefield is said to have been making chocolate cookies and on running out of regular baker's chocolate, substituted broken pieces of semi-sweet chocolate from Nestle thinking that they would melt and mix into the batter. The still different history of the cookie derives from George Boucher, who was at one time head chef at the Toll House and saying that said that the vibrations from a large electric mixer dislodged bars of Nestle's chocolate stored on the shelf above the mixer which caused the chocolate to fall into the sugar cookie dough mixing below. He claims to have overcome Wakefield's impulse to discard. The dough is too badly ruined to waste effort baking them. Leading to the discovery of this delicious recipe. Thank you for watching this. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.